Hello, my name is Ted Harrison, and it is Sunday, April 26, 2009. And guess what? I'm going to be blogging a lot this summer, so be excited. Or don't be excited. But if you're not excited, just don't watch, because I don't want you to watch. And I'm acting all tough through a video on the internet, so what now? Seriously, though, those people that, like, act all tough and they kind of move their head back and forth and, like, what? Uh, yeah. I find that the people who really do this are like the moving targets at like a carnival and you're kind of, you want to toss a ring on their head or something. I just rewatched that footage and I think I made myself dizzy. It's Ted Harrison time, friend of yours and brother of mine. It's Ted, Ted, Ted Harrison's blog, clears the air and lifts the fog. It's Ted Harrison's blog. The last time I blogged, I promised some new things being added to the blog. So I kind of decided to add some a little bit of structure, and that's kind of the biggest change. And so this first part, I'm going to talk about something that just has to deal with life. And today I'm going to talk about voicemail, which is probably the dumbest thing on the face of the planet at this point. You're right, I didn't take into consideration Nancy Pelosi, but other than Nancy Pelosi, that's the case. Because there's this thing called text messaging these days, and you can just leave a quick message that says, hey, call me back. Or you can just notice that you've missed a call and then call that person back. I decided that there's a very short list of when a voicemail is actually appropriate, and I'll admit that they are appropriate at times. It's when, first of all, you're doing some business transaction and you don't know the person you're talking to. Second, maybe amongst family it's okay as well. Third, there's no other times besides those two. Now for those of you that are dead set on the continuation of leaving voicemails, I implore you to leave the longest voicemail you possibly can. For example, I'm calling my best friend Jared Puckett. He has no idea that I'm calling. He probably won't pick up his phone because he never does. But I'm going to leave him a voicemail, which is terribly irritatingly long. So when I do, he'll know, wow, I should never leave Ted a voicemail ever again because he likes to leave voicemails a lot. Okay, the lady's talking to me right now. All right. Hey, Jared, this is Ted. We're like really good friends, you know, kind of wanted to talk to you. That's really all I had to say. I kind of got up something important to tell you later. But I guess you could just call me back when you see that you missed this call. And hey, Jared, you're getting married pretty soon. He's getting married. He's crazy. And so I hope that that goes well. And yeah, you're my friend. I think you kind of know me. So give me a call. All right. Thanks, Jared. Bye. So if you're going to leave voicemails, do it like that so that they don't leave voicemails back. Now that I'm done ranting about voicemails, I know you're at home going, Ted, what's your next section going to be about? I know you've talked about being having being more structured and I'm just hanging on to your every word and I just want to hear you. And all I have to say is it's biblical humor. And guess what? I ain't bail, so don't idolize me. You know, I, I thought that was funny at the time, but no, that was not funny. All right, and the last segment's a little bit of like weird news from somewhere in the world. And the, I heard the other day about this chimpanzee, this monkey in um, a zoo, that was breaking rocks overnight into smaller rocks so that the next day as people were looking on, the monkey could throw rocks at, at the people. And scientists are just like in awe of this because the monkey can cognitively grasp the future and plan ahead. And I think it's just downright hilarious that a monkey wants to throw rocks at people. All right, well, that's all I had for today. I hope you really enjoyed this more upbeat, different style of show. And I hope you send this me to a bunch of different friends. Follow me on Twitter. Link's over here. If you think I'm funny, rate it five stars. If you think I'm an idiot, rate it zero. I don't care. I'm just glad that you've watched and spent your time wasting it watching me on the Internet. So just uh, that's all I really had to say. So I appreciate your time and uh, hope to catch you later. He's a hairy son.